Well, hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back to the cabin. Today's a very exciting day. <laughs> Today, I have a fridge. Yep, got a solar powered fridge. No more hauling ice down here. I am so sick of hauling ice down here. You have no idea. So this is exciting. Can't wait to get this thing hooked up and, uh, and get it running. This fridge is made by a company called Unique and they make off-grid appliances. Um, they are located in Canada, so this is made in Canada. And uh, I wanted a Unique uh, because I have a Unique stove and uh, I love the, it's a Unique propane uh, stove. I love it. And I wanted a Unique fridge to match it. Um, buddy of mine has one of these and he absolutely loves it. He says it's, you know, he has no problems with it. So, uh, so in this video, what we're going to do, we're going to unbox this. We are going to install it. And then uh, in a few days, I'll end the video and uh, I'll do a review on it. Let you know how it works, uh, how it worked with my solar system. Uh, uh, the compressor in particular, I'm, I'm interested in that because uh, it has one of those Dan Frost compressors. Apparently, they're top of the line for compressors. Very quiet, super quiet. Uh, that's important to me because... I just have a small 12 by 24 uh, one room cabin and uh, I don't want a loud compressor running all night. So I can't wait to see, you know, exactly how, how quiet that compressor is. And uh, you know what? Hey, as long as it keeps everything cold, I think, uh, I think it's going to be a winner. So this model of fridge is um, 6.1 cubic feet. They have different sizes three, six, nine, and, and, uh, and bigger. You can just Google their website, Unique Off-Grid Appliances, and uh, check out everything they have to offer. But this particular, but this particular fridge is the uh, 6.1 cubic feet and uh, weighs about 86 pounds. It's uh, 51 by 20 by 24 inches. And uh, this one is white to match the stove, but they also come in black. All right, so I'll give you a quick rundown on my solar system, uh, just so you know what I'm running and uh, uh, you can compare it to what you have or what you might need if you also want to get one of these uh, fridges. So I'm running 470 watts of solar panels, not a big system. Uh, it has a 40 amp charge controller and I have two L16 batteries. Uh, those are six volters wired in series. Uh, so I have 12 volts and um, 420 amp hours of capacity. So uh, as far as what I'm running off of that, I um, have laptop, I have lights, I have uh, a little weather station, I have, uh, sometimes I run a fan, a um, few chargers and stuff like that. Uh, I've got more than enough power. Uh, I've had that installed for about three years. And even in the dead of winter, um, where here days are really short, the sun is really low in the sky. I have never taken those batteries down below. I think the lowest they've ever been is 60%. So they have all kinds of capacity. Uh, so can't wait to see how it, uh, how it handles this fridge. I think I got more than enough. Uh, one of the things about this fridge though, uh, it also has a, uh, an adapter. Doesn't come with it, but you can buy them separately. So if you wanted to, you could buy an adapter and plug it in um, to an outlet. So if you wanted to run it, you know, off a generator or, um, you know, if you have, if you're grid tied or whatever, uh, you don't want to use your solar all the time or for whatever reason, you could actually buy an adapter and uh, just plug the thing in. Okay, first thing to do is uh, unbox this. I'm going to do it out here because I got... A little more room to work and the lighting's a little better. Well packed, and uh, 
That's good. The whole thing is wrapped in uh, in this plastic. Kind of hard to get off. That's good. Uh, definitely well protected. Okay, I got most of that plastic off. Let's open it up. So that's the freezer. And the fridge. All the instructions in the beer cooler, along with your wiring. All right, so the next step is to install it. Um, apparently it has to sit for five hours after unboxing and, and all that stuff or whatever. So uh, I'll just let it sit for, I'll put it inside, let it sit for five hours. It's getting late in the day now. So uh, we'll be right back tomorrow morning and uh, we'll get this thing installed. Can have a better look at it now. The first thing you, you're gonna notice is uh, how thick the insulation is on this fridge. The walls and everything are very, very thick. To install is real easy it's really just plug it in so over here at the battery box uh, it's really just connecting your wires to your batteries this is my positive this is my uh, my negative here then to turn on I just take that plug and it goes right in here so actually before I plug it in and turn it on let's just look at a few things so it's uh, 9.39 a.m. Uh, current temperature inside the cabin, this one over here, is 68 degrees. So that's, uh, I don't know, about 18 degrees Celsius. If we look over here at the charge controller, uh, we got 13.1 uh, volts on the batteries. Got about 64 volts coming in from the panels, 67. About three amps. It says batteries are at 95%. And outside, uh, the sun is out. It's just coming up over the tree line. And uh, supposedly it's gonna be a nice sunny day. Okay, I just plugged it in. I can hear the compressor running, but it is, man, that is quiet. Yeah, that's really quiet. Okay, it's gonna take about, uh, it said several hours for the fridge to get to temperature. Um, so uh, I will check back in a few hours and we'll see how it's doing. But first we can look at some specs of the fridge. All right, here are the specs on this uh, on this fridge. So the size is a six cubic foot fridge. It will run on 12 or 24 volts. It uh, doesn't matter what your battery bank is. You just connect it. It automatically will um, adjust to whatever the voltage is. Uh, there's your dimensions. Uh, it's 76 pounds. And this is the efficiency. So... Your total watt hour uh, pull down, 590 watt hours over 24 hours. And that's if you have it set to the normal setting, which is uh, so minus 14 degrees Celsius for the freezer, plus four uh, Celsius in the fridge. And that is at a 25 degrees Celsius ambient room temperature. So I did the conversions down here. So uh 25 degrees Celsius is 77 Fahrenheit. Um, minus 14 Celsius is 7, and 4 is 40. So here's a couple other specs on that fridge. Um, 
while that compressor is running, uh, its power that it's uh, consuming is 52 watts, uh, which is actually pretty good. It's like running, you know, like it's less than one of those old candescent light bulbs. Uh, so the other thing about that fridge, uh, it has an automatic shutoff. So it won't kill your batteries. If, you, if it gets down to a certain level, the fridge will automatically shut off and uh, it won't turn back on again until your, your batteries reach a, a, a certain voltage. I think it's 11.7. If, it, uh, if your batteries get back to 11.7, the fridge will turn itself back on. Uh, so it won't, it won't you know, completely uh, deplete your batteries if you're not around. Uh, and that fridge, as you see, it runs directly off your batteries. Uh, it doesn't run through my inverter. I have an inverter as well, uh, but you know, most of the time the inverter's turned off. I don't need to use the power. Um, and if I leave here, I definitely turn off the power, but I want the fridge to continue to run. So I'm glad that it runs uh, directly off of, uh, off of your battery bank. Okay, the fridge was running for four hours and uh, I didn't realize it, but I had it on the max setting, uh, seven. So yeah, it was good and cold in there. I was wondering why the compressor was still running four hours later. Uh, so I checked the temperature inside the fridge. It was only, in this is in the fridge, it was 20 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, or uh, I think that's uh, five below uh, zero in Celsius. So it was, mighty, it was mighty cold in there. That fridge has no problem to get cold. Uh, as soon as I turned it down to five, the compressor shut right off. So let's go in and check the, uh, uh, the current temperature and the solar system. Okay, inside the cabin is still uh, 68 degrees, or about 20 degrees Celsius. And over here on the charge controller, uh, my batteries are 13.3 volts. Still have about 60 volts coming in, and about 3.5 amps, 100% battery charge. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill the fridge and um, I'm going to let it run for a few days. Uh, I'll come back and finish up this video. And uh, I'll let you know uh, what I think of the, of the fridge overall after I've had a chance to uh, run it for a few days. See if there's any additional issues or anything like that. But I don't expect there will be. I think it's going to be just fine. Um, so stay tuned. Be right back in a few days. Oh yeah, ice cold, ice cold. All right, it is five days later. It is September the 16th, it's Wednesday. And it's been five days since I've installed that fridge. And uh, so far it's working great. Now today is a overcast day, as you can see. And uh, it's about, uh, I don't know, about 5.30. In the afternoon, we'll just have a quick look at the uh, charge controller. Uh, right now we're at 12.9 volts, uh, so I have the inverter running. Uh, I also have the fridge compressor is also running right now, so if we go down, still getting, uh, still getting some amps in, even though it's uh, very overcast. Battery condition is good. 12.8 volts. Yeah, no problems at all. That fridge is working great. Uh, that's amazing. I love it. I have a fridge powered by the sun. Great stuff. That is great stuff. Um, the biggest thing, I guess, uh, is the compressor. So how did it do? Fantastic. It is very quiet. Um, it comes on about at once an hour and it stays on for about 15 minutes. Um, and that's it. And it's, it's very quiet. If I'm, if I'm sitting in the cabin and I'm just having my morning coffee and the compressor comes on, I can hear it. But it's not, it's not at a level that's, uh, 
you know that's uh, this you know that bothers me or anything it's it's not a problem uh, if I'm sitting right beside the fridge and I'm watching a movie on my laptop or whatever I can't even tell if the compressor's on I can't hear it I actually have to pause the movie and listen and say yep yeah, nope compressors on compressors off uh, so it's it's really quiet I'm really happy with that compressor uh, yeah it's 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 amazing stuff um, Okay, and finally, uh, one more thing about that fridge uh, that everybody has to know. If you're thinking about buying one, um, the fridge itself, with that compressor, because the compressor is so efficient, uh, you've got a trade-off there for efficiency and, uh, and quiet. You have a trade-off for cooling power. Uh, so if you put unfrozen food in the freezer as an example or warm food in the fridge a lot of it uh, that compressor is going to come on and it's probably going to stay on for hours so it's recommended that you put frozen food in the freezer and and already pre-chilled food in the fridge uh, if you can do that uh, it's going to be uh, make a big difference in in how much that compressor runs that's my review of the unique uh, solar fridge uh, check out the website at unique.com if you want to check out everything that they have for off-grid appliances. They make really good stuff. My stove is awesome. The fridge is awesome. Uh, I don't really have any complaints about it. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I want to thank you for watching. Uh, if you're new, subscribe. Hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Um, smash the old thumbs up if you don't mind. I appreciate that support. Uh, you guys take care. Stay safe. And we will see you soon back here at the cabin.